Hello everybody. So today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to take copyright media, video, sound effects, and music, and showing you a few sites on where to get them and how to get them onto your mobile device so that you can edit on your mobile device. Now, a lot of you are using computers for this and these are web-based softwares. So anything that I show you can be very easily done on the computer, but it does get a little bit more challenging once you go into a mobile device. However, it is very possible and it's very doable. And so through this, it should hopefully demystify some of the copyright um, videos, copyright free videos and how to get them so that you can edit them on your phone or edit them on your iPad. So specifically, this is for iPads, iPhones, smartphones and Androids. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is open up the four tabs of Pixabay, Pexel, Pexels, and SoundCloud, and then of course, Ben Sound, which I will link in the doodly-doo below as well. And I'm gonna just choose a random video to start out with. I'm gonna choose this waterfall one, and you're gonna to go to Downloads, and you're gonna choose the 1920 by 1080 size, because that is your typical um, HD. Um, the 4K is just way bigger than you really wanna start working with, and some of your devices, might not actually want to work with 4k so here is my full hd look and it's not going to show up in your photos it's going to go to your files so you want to go to files on your phone and then download it to your photos so if you save your video by going up to that square with it arrow you can then save it onto your photos now here's the other funky part about it is that because you didn't take the video yourself it's not going to go to your most recent file it's going to be somewhere in the middle so it might take you a minute to find your video i just saw it scroll past but of course I went to the very end because sometimes they show up at the very end of your photos, like the beginning where you first started, but you're going to have to do a little bit of searching to find your video again. But the good news is, is that if you do one and then you export them all or save them all to your uh, photos at the same time, they'll all be in a line together. So they'll be easier to spot because they'll kind of stand out against the rest of your photos. All right. So now I'm going to go find some other photos. Now, one thing you want to think about when you're doing a tester video, even though you're not really thinking too crazy with it, you're making a video that's just kind of practicing editing, try and match your film in some way. So I'm going to have the color green as a connecting item through each of my films. So I'm just now kind of looking for green. Now you can use other things like for instance, it could be action packed. And so it could all be having super fast moving objects. Maybe it's all happening at night. Either way, go through and download trying to keep it in that 1920 to 1080 size margin. If it's a little lower, that's okay. But don't go over that because you don't want to just make your entire phone shut down or device shut down because it's just too much information. So again, I have this bird because it's green. Um, another theme I could have chosen with this is just eyes. Um, so yeah, just kind of think about a theme. The next thing we're going to do is download um, some songs into it. However, I forgot about this part. There's another one. This is Pexels. Pexels also has downloadable information, and um, but their videos often are in vertical form, which in other videos might be fine, but always be considerate of what you start with. Never go vertical, horizontal, vertical, or if I say make a vertical video, make it horizontal because that would be very tacky. Make sure that you're setting the right size for the right film. All right, now we're going into Ben Sound. So this is a free copyright, uh, copyright free music downloading site. Now look at all these pages of music there are. As you can see, there's just a ton of different genres and moods that you can use, and they're all pretty good. I've um, gone through and listened to a lot of them. Watch out for the blue ones. That means that you have to purchase them, but the black download means that you can download it for free. So I'm going to choose this moose one. Now, as you can see, half of it is the free licensure because notice it says uh, for animation, YouTube, Facebook, websites, that is all free to use. It doesn't want you to use it for music remixes or audiobooks. So just read carefully. You're just a student that's doing videos that isn't probably going to be published published in too many places. So you don't have to worry. The only thing you want to do is always cite where it is, which is just a good habit to have as always is if you're not using your own video, your own film, always cite your work, which is why we're going to learn how to do text in the part two of this video. All right. So now that we've done Ben sound, obviously once you save it, it goes to your files again. Um, you're going to go to SoundCloud. Now, some of you might think that your sounds are just, your movies are just going to be better once you bring in your sound or bring in your music. Yes, that is true. It is going to elevate it. But the next thing that will really bring your 
uh, videos to the next level is going to be to add some sort of sound effects to really create the feel of the tone of the movie. So to download sound, what you do is you go in and you click on the green letters of whatever you choose. So here's flock of seagulls and then you choose the MP3. Do not choose the wave file. That's not readable on all devices where the MP3 will be. Um, you can also search through it. Um, it isn't always the greatest search engine I have to warn you about. So when you, for instance, let's say you search cat, I think I'm going to search cat in a little bit here. When you search it, um, it might not find cat right away. So you just kind of have to go through and kind of pick through and find whatever will work. It will show up at some point and it'll kind of narrow it down, but you still have to do a little bit of poking and searching in order to find it. All right, once you have all your sounds, you should be able to go into your files again and notice how anything that is a sound file will come up as that little jagged line. At least that's what it looks like in the iPhone. And then you can go in and you can bring them all in at once to save into your pictures. Now you aren't going to save your sounds in your pictures. We are going to be for our part two using Filmmaker Pro um, for this and you can just go right into files. But for most of the time for easy readability, you want to be able to have all your visual media in your photos and then your sound files will just be in your files. You could export them to your iTunes as well, but sometimes that calls for a little bit more. Um, I don't want to say the word finagling. It just is sometimes you have to pay to use the iTunes connection where you don't have to usually. So that's all there is to it. That is how you can download three types of media from copyright free websites. I hope you found this helpful and have a great day, everybody. Bye.